folks. Okay, dog here. Switching back to the webcam for this uh, particular video because um, I feel like uh, you know this this really doesn't uh, deserve getting out tripods and the iPhone and just things like that. Uh, just yeah, just want to come on and because uh, I haven't been on uh, currently checking up on internet movie news or anything like that. Uh, been busy doing other things, mostly working, but, uh, but yeah, uh, it just occurred to me that, uh, as I was, swir uh, going on, uh, YouTube, uh, last night, that AMC Movie Talk is losing John Campia. And, of course, this has been a big topic, apparently, and unbeknownst to me, to many of the, many of the people who are, either supporting or hating AMC Movie Talk. So I just thought I'd come on here and post my opinion of this. And I would probably get some hate for this comment in saying that this is probably the best thing for AMC theaters to get rid of John Campia. Now, that being said, John Campia, I will admit, made that show what it is today. If it wasn't for him, it would not be as popular as what it is. It, uh, it, 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 it just would not be there. Because AMC, I, I guarantee you, would be... They were not in the business of actually making a, a, a TV or an internet show about movie talking for movie fans, which it really, I'll get into that in a minute, but uh, they weren't into that business. They were more into advertising for the movies and promoting movies and things like that, you know, to come to the, the to their specific theaters and watch those movies. Now, that being said, the show claims to be AMC Movie Talk. Movie Talk for movie fans. And which it really wasn't. If you will be honest about it, it really was not Movie Talk for movie fans. Movie Talk for movie fans would be something like what I'm doing. Opening up a discussion about... How do I want to say it? Opening up a discussion between ordinary people. While... AMC Movie Talk was journalists, and they were not ordinary people. They were actually a bit of a celebrity, you might say. People who had press credentials. The only thing that I can really think of is that they brought on a few uh, bloggers and web, you know, webbers like uh, guys like uh, Schmoes No and John Schnepp. You know, those guys who are bloggers. They they go on the internet and things like that. That's what makes it a little bit, you know, uh, that's what makes it, uh, you know, ordinary people, you know, because the guys that operate, you know, shows like, you know, Schmoes No or uh, Cinema Junkies, those guys are nerds, okay? But, uh, you know, they're coming up with the actual credentials, the, you know, the actual things to come up with and actually talk about movies as fans. AMC Movie Talk is a little bit different. That was actually journalists. Yes, Campia had a website, but he's a journalist. He is like a news anchor. And and I mean a news anchor as in today's realm of news anchors where the news is no longer just giving the news. You have to give your opinion. And that's what the people want today. A majority of people want that. But I will tell you, that's what that's one of the reasons why I think AMC Movie Talk hurts. Actually hurts the movie going public because, and that, that's just one out of many things, is that this guy... Campia was a journalist, and he loved to point fingers at 
people and say, you know, you're wrong. They're not going to do this. And and sometimes he was right. But there would be times I would say to myself, okay, if I was a filmmaker and I really hated this guy, I would do that just to, to mess with him. To say, no, they're not going to do that. But then it turns out they actually would do something like that. Um. Also, I just think his personality was getting old. It became about it became about him. Okay. There was actually one point where he said, "Let's start. Let's let's keep talking about me." And really, he was he. I don't, the best way I can describe Campia is he's an idiot. <laughs> Now, that does not mean he's stupid. He is not stupid. He, he, I think he's a very intelligent guy. He knows what he's talking about. But what I mean is that he's an idiot. It means that he's full of himself. He's, a, he's full of his id, his, his super ego. Okay? That's where I'm getting the term idiot. Okay? But say what you want. The guy made the show what it is. He's going to move on to something else. Okay? You know, and I'm sure he'll have his fans that follow him. But let me get into the reasons why I unsubscribed from AMC Movie Talk. I quit watching it. Uh, and it, I did have a run-in with Campy and posting a, a, a comment a couple years ago. And uh, specifically, it was they were listing uh, movies of the summer of 2011. And I gave my opinion about one of them, in which I really liked. He hated the movie. But he said that he preferred this other movie over that one. And I, just as a person expressing my opinion, I was not saying that he was stupid or anything like that. I said, look, my comment was to him, I said, I really liked the movie that you didn't care for over the one that you did like. I thought it was a much better movie. But he responded back to me as an insult. And I clearly did not insult him at all. But here's where I re- what really stop- caused me to stop watching this show. It actually took place about, I'm going to say... About six months ago, actually. And uh, I was watching the show, and they were talking about the movie Nightcrawler. And I forget what... They had Jake Gyllenhaal. They were really trying to promote Nightcrawler. And, um, of course, well, Nightcrawler had been out and uh, done its business and left the theater. But uh, they thought that... Hall did a much better performance over whatever it was up against. I forget. I see. I forget what it was up against now. But uh, they had really beefed up this. They'd really beefed up the movie Nightcrawler. But and 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 you may say, well, oh, okay, that's fine. That you're you like this one movie over the other. But it became very clear to me that it was not, and this, and by the way, this is not anything to do with John Campia, really. Uh, this was over corporation. This was AMC movie theaters. What had happened was, this goes back to another video I watched where they had um, the CEO of AMC theaters give a presentation. He was giving to he was giving a presentation to investors and things like that. It was a really corporate uh, video explaining uh, to the audience what AMC has done, the progress that they've made, besides being bought out by the Chinese, that they opened up a movie studio, a movie distribution company called Open Road Films. And it's in partnership 
with Universal Pictures and Regal Entertainment. All three of those companies came together to form a movie company called Open Road Films. Guess who Nightcrawler is distributed by? You guessed it. Open Road Films. So, that's what put the bitter taste in my mouth for AMC Movie Talk being a good source of going to for movie news and movie opinions because they were trying to promote their own product over everybody else's product. And that's a corp, you know, it was a corporate, it was just a corporate thing. So, but Campion needed to go because, yes, he is very insulting to the audience and even the people that like him. I'd have to say you're not very bright. That's the only way I could put it. And you may think I'm an idiot. I mean, that's fine. But look at the facts. Look at the facts, people. I mean, I do... I mean, he... There is a few things I do agree with him on about his opinions. But... um. You cannot, and and you're doing a, if it's supposed to be a movie news-like show, I would be much harder on this. Because if you're doing anything news-oriented, you are not to give your opinions. That's journalism. That is pure journalism. You cannot really give your own opinions. Does it happen? Absolutely. I mean, that's why we have commentators like Sean Hannity, Rush Limbaugh, uh, Bill O'Reilly, Chris Matthews, you know, then going on down the list. But I think it's time that they need to cut him out because it became the campiest show, really. And then when you start... A movie distribution company that is re- that is releasing a film about the same time that all these other Oscar winners are coming out, and of course, the Oscars blew all these other mo- blew that one particular movie out of the water, and you're on your show saying that all those studio movies were terrible. That this is the only movie, this is the one movie that should have gotten the Academy Award for everything. Come on. I mean, that's, that's a corporate, that's a corporate plug, you know, just, okay. You know, hey, we made this one movie called Nightcrawler. It was the best movie out there and no one went to see it. Okay, big deal. You know, (laughs) but you know, he's gone. They'll get somebody else. And they'll get somebody else who's probably just as pompous. But, uh, you know, he'll, you know, he'll find other work elsewhere. And I can guarantee you he'll build that up from nothing. And then then he'll go into competition with AMC. So who knows? I mean, but I think, you know, I think it was a good move to let him go. Even though it's going back and forth and saying that he was fired or that he quit. I mean, and then he's also going back and forth to say, Oh, I'm not leaving. And then there's saying that, he, yeah, I'm, I'm leaving the company. It's going back and forth on this Twitter feed. And so, yeah, it's just, it's just a mess going on right now. So it's, but uh, there was another, um, I wish I could, point the guy out but there was another youtube video i watched and he was really he was kind of depressed that campy was leaving and uh he expressed why he believes that uh why why john campy is leaving the leaving amc theaters altogether and apparently it involves a lawsuit over the three big 
movie theater chains and the smaller theater chain the that uh, and of course how they're trying to plug movies and get them to come to the big chains and and push the little guy out you know that's corporate america that's the best way i could describe it but you know and you think of, but to a positive note i do think you know like i said before campia built that channel to where it was not even going look i've been to regal entertainment's channel they're not even doing anything like that they maybe have like a, a red carpet like thing at a, at a premiere or something but they don't have a talk show they don't have anything like that they just do promotions promotions for their own theater amc is the only one doing that so apparently campia did do some good so i'll leave it at that so um and another thing was i do agree with him on some things but i don't agree with you treating people that disagree with you like dirt like they're the scum of the earth and that they don't know anything. Trust me, we're the ones going to the theater to pay his salary, okay? You know, things like that. The one thing I do, I will say, there's one specific topic that he mentioned that he kept addressing quite often is that uh, people were complaining about um, a, lot, a lot of movies coming out today are, are a sequel or a remake, and here's what I have to say about that. It's the same thing that he said. He goes, look, even if a movie comes out and it's a, either a sequel or definitely a remake, if it's definitely a remake of a movie, he said, I would encourage you, and this is my opinion as well, I would encourage you to see the remake, Okay. Even if you don't go see the remake, you still have the original. Because I've noticed this, and this is this is the truth behind this comment. I've noticed this in stores, particularly like stores like Fye. If a movie is coming out and it's a sequel or it's a remake. They will put on display in the store where you could buy the original movie. Voila! What a concept! You know, the... You know, a, a example. You know, Jurassic World has just come out. FYE specifically put out on their shelf... The original trilogy on DVD or Blu-ray. So people can that prefer the original movies and don't have them to purchase the original movies. And they did the same thing with the Avengers. They put a copy of the Avengers out and uh, they recently remade the 80s horror film Poltergeist. So they put the original Poltergeist movie out on DVD on display so the people that don't want to see the remake can see the original. Wow. So I know it's a little late. This apparently happened about 10 days ago, but uh, I just, I'm just now being aware of it. So um, yeah, I think it's time for Campia to go, but He'll be replaced by somebody else. Uh, who knows? They, AMC may just decide, you know what, we're not really getting into the whole internet thing, which I think they should, but, but also I'm not too keen on them plugging 
their corporate propaganda. See, that's why it wasn't because of Campia the reason why I quit watching. I mean, well, I'll take that back. It was one reason why I quit watching, but two, it was mostly the corporate stuff that. Okay, this was supposed when the show first started. It was supposed to be a movie discussion page where anybody can come and talk about, you know, their movie thing. And it was it originally started as AMC for your consideration. I thought it was a good program. Thought it was a good show. It actually opened it up to movie fans who were fans of movies to talk about movies. Now it's more promoting movies plugging their product and it's just it became a corporate tool it just became a corporate tool to promote the theater chain and specifically if they're opening up a movie distribution company what are you going to do they're, you're gonna you're gonna plug your own product before you're gonna plug everybody else's. I mean, open road films. You're gonna promote anything that's sorry. You're gonna promote anything that's open road films as opposed to something that's by Paramount or Sony. You know. So that's pretty much it. So from me to you. See you later. <laughs>